Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to explore the prompt Pond or Fountain. And I haven't done anything on this piece for some time. The French Garden has just been absorbing all of my uh, time. And I already had a heap of little creatures that would be visiting a garden. So when I heard the prompt come up, I thought, oh, I might, um, might start with this piece and give it a little bit of love. So I sat down and the first thing I decided to do, let me come up a little bit. I did a little bit of maintenance. Now what I had was the calico in behind here and I had numerous pieces of random fabric sort of ending and meeting and it, I just felt like it was a little bit out of control. So what I decided to do is this tea towel was in amongst the box of goodies for this project and I had cut the bottom off to get the image of the little um, house huts down here. So this tiny little embroidery was on the bottom of this big piece of linen. So I decided to lay down that big piece of linen on top to get me another layer. Now the reason that came to be is when I started thinking about the next prompt and what I would do, I picked up this, um, where is it? What did I do with it? It's a um, handkerchief. And it has such a pretty lacy, now I can't even find it. I've got bits everywhere here. Yeah, this. I picked up this lace handkerchief and it's so thin, and you can see my hand through it, that when I laid it down here, because I thought, oh, maybe I could get this corner in here, I could see the dividing lines and the mess behind because it was so thin. So I thought, oh, I need to get myself a uniformed background again. It had got a little bit uh, hodgepodge. Now I wasn't able to quite fill in this corner, but I managed to cut a little bit off the bottom of the tea towel here and slide it in to sort of bulk this out a little bit. But I think we can patch that with some embroidery elements. So pond or um, what was the other prompt? Goodness me, pond or fountain. Now I went through all the doilies in the little box to do with this and I could not find anything that was stitched that way. I've just got a lot of floral, so I think I'm on my own and I have to create something. Pond, I'm not thinking that suits this piece. So I'm sort of thinking about a structure. Now, in one of the other boxes, I think it was a French garden, was this, this little image. Now this was a, um, a photocopy of a very old, um, what do they call them, embroidery. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe a little well. So I sort of, we're wanting a water feature in our garden. So I was thinking along that and then I thought, well, that might be good for the French garden because I can sort of expand on that. So I just don't know if that's the right thing for this. Then I started thinking, well, what else is attached to water? And I came up with, you know, these pumps where they crank them and the water comes up out of the ground. And I like the fact that I can floral the uh, image out. So I think that's the way I'm going to go for this piece because I have a lot of floral. I've got heaps and heaps of florally bits here and I want to start building them in as well. So that's where I'm at. I have added my background, extended it. The doily is available to use as a bit of a feature in the corner. Can't decide if I want to do that or not, but I thought, well, maybe that would create a little vignette that I could work on. So that's where I'm at. So I'm just sort of thinking about how do I, let me put my phone out of the way. I'm going to need a bit of a reference to sketch something in in a moment, but I think I got to work out how I'm going to lay this. Do I go... Do I worry about the doily or do I go straight into piecing in some of these little, I've got a lot of yellow and orange. I've got this 
sort of feel like I need to save that. Maybe use. And I've got a little yellow. So maybe I'll do a bit of a yellow thing. What else is in my little bucket? I've got a this little girl. Got purple? No. <clears throat> um what else? What else? I've got still got plenty of these elements from the um what do you call it? Pillow slip. But they're good for canopies, like because it's all trees, it sort of helps me finish off an area and start another area. So I don't know if I'll use those. I still have a little cluster flower here, which matches the one over here, this big guy. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do, to be honest. See, this piece here is interesting because it has a baseline. Maybe it could be brought in to hide that join. Tucked in under here a little bit. If I cut it down. So where would I put my pump? Where's my pen? So if this is my little pump, do I do I nestle it in here somehow? Do I need that big piece? Do I just piece in lots of these little guys and do the pump more central? I really like the idea of this, actually. And I like how it's got a line on the bottom. And the white blends well here. The challenge with this project is I've got 10 different creams and whites. And the, the challenge is to blend it all together so it looks like it's meant to be. Um, what if I use, where's the doily edge? What if I get the square edge of the doily in? Oh, now I think I know what I'm going to do. Because I want to start getting some pretty little edges on the piece. If that was to sit there. So if you can see that it clearly is a doily, then these little flowers nestle in on it, but fussy cut. Then how do we blend it to that side? Does it matter? Yeah, it does. So I need to get it underneath this piece a little bit. And I just stitched all that down, for goodness sakes. I just run a stitch right through here, but that's okay. I like that idea. Yeah, I like that idea. I like the fact that I'm getting the top of this, this little element in as well. Plus it gives the edge of my piece just something to poke out on the side boundary. fact that I've lost, is it upside down or? Oh, it's upside down. Okay. Does that matter? It does a little. That means it has to go down here. Does that matter? I could then bring back the flowers a little bit but I lose I'm gonna hide that edge 
I'm going to put it in upside down. I think I don't think it really matters. Like there's nothing really actually looks more interesting than the front side, to be honest. And if I can drift up some embroideries onto those corners where I can actually see a little seam, it sort of fits better. this way because I get this little lacy edge here I get a lacy edge on the perimeter <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna go upside down and what I might have to do is just unpick this here a little bit tuck in the hanky so all that will, you know, be in under there. And look like it's, you know, underneath this little guy. Because this has got such a pretty little edge on it. I sort of I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to trim that off. So that will disappear into there. Okay, so we should be able to... I can't believe I just stitched all that down. See, I, I just like it finished. So I keep stitching and I really should leave things open and flapping around a little bit so I can tuck in or and then come back and stitch it down. But I can't help myself. I just got into my head that it needed to be down. See where I come through with the tea towel? Literally five minutes ago. So let's get that in there and then that onto there. That's better. Nothing like redoing things. Okay. That's good. Okay, so now we've got a bit of a feature happening that gap up there where the lace is actually missing I'm not too concerned because we can do all sorts of cool things to disguise it now now we get to the fun bit let's cut the bottom off of where's my scissors there they are okay Let's get this little floral piece into there. That'll hide that one little seam. Does it need to be cut off? I could probably just turn it under. No, I need to cut it off because I can see the line of fabric that's tucked in behind. So it's never that easy, is it? So let's... Let's cut this little guy back. Okay. So we now got a nice little edge. And now we need to fussy cut around all of that. I think I will need to lose some of these little flowers, but we'll see how we go once we trim this little guy back a bit. And then we can have the, the pump poking up from behind it or to, to the side of it. <clears throat> so how have you all been? How quickly the week has gone again. It's just crazy. Before you know it, it's prompt time again or, you know, the, the middle of the week where we catch up again with Rachel and Sarah. It just flies, doesn't it? Easter's done. We're coming up to Anzac Day next week. I 
I've been fussing around packing for my trip, counting things. Like, oh, it's getting ridiculous, to be honest. I'm um, trying to work out how to get <laughs> three suitcases into one. Oh, it's just silly. I'm, st <laughs> I'm finding myself standing, looking at my clothes, going, well, do I really need that? Do I really need that? Then I'm like, well, I could do a little wash halfway through the week and then I could have less clothing. And I've worked out I need a coat that's really warm in case it, a blizzard breaks out. And then I'm like, well, will a blizzard break out? <laughs> do I need that coat? It's just silly. <clears throat> so, so, yeah, I'm starting to peel things out of my suitcase because... I'm worried that I won't have enough room. So it's hilarious, to be honest. So let's let's think about this. If I'm going to do a water pump, where is my water pump going to go? Um, let's have a look at some more of these little flowers. <clears throat> I think that's probably... The only two that really match in here. Do I break this down? Do I nestle the water pump over here? Then maybe bring them in. What's my water pump going to look like? Let's draw a water pump, hey? Where's a pen? I'll use this black. Um, so size wise probably probably what I've got here is pretty good um, they where's my picture um, all right let's go they sort of no, I'm gonna be brave and just go straight to the piece I think I think we'll nestle it oh I don't know do I nestle it here Sort of feel like I'm running out of space there. <clears throat> Where if so let's say I cut that off, bring this little guy right over. Well, it might work. And then use these little bits of lace to sort of blend in around. Yeah, I think that'll work. So therefore my pump needs to be here. Just bear with me, guys. You know how it goes. Just got to think 12 steps ahead to try and make all this crazy work. Um, I better put my phone on silent. I think someone's about to call. <clears throat> yeah, I think I can do it here. And I might... Oh, okay. I'm going to come up here and then I can get my handle there. All right, so let's let's give ourselves a, a base for the pump. I might cut those flowers off yet and drift in my flowers in around the base here. But let's see, let's get a little bit of, uh, there'll be lots of connections in pipes. So we'll sort of make it a little bit interesting as we try and get... Don't tell me my pen is going to die on me. Okay, let's... How, how high do we go? Then we need like a, a spout. Let's get a little spout thing happening. It's usually a complete connection. So we'll make that all one piece. Got a few of these on the farm. Might make that a little bit more bulbous there. It sort of feels like it might need a bit of structure. Could probably have a coupling there that joined it. And then a 
on the section and then there's like a there's like a, a a container at the top not a container but it's an open flange there we go there's a impressive word that allows all the mechanisms to to move let's get this handle in i think that's going to set the tone um it's sort of like i need a a support coming up for the handle where it cranks and another one there or maybe over here and then it needs to get quite a curved my pen is finally giving up it has been with me on many journeys yeah, this is like the the lever at the top that cranks it and I'm pretty sure there's like where's that picture yeah there is yeah there's two two levers there that help pull it so as long as we have two strokes to denote that there's this connection there to crank it then a nice long lever because that's the secret to it all you get a lot more leverage okay how's that look i think that's all right it's probably a bit close to the stem like you just get a bucket in do we need a bucket we could probably give the illusion of a bucket Let's just draw something there. If I find nice flowers, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna, you know, fret that my bucket is covered with some flowers. But it's there. You could even have a drip coming out. That really sells the story, doesn't it? Don't get out of control, Corinne. Now two drips. That's enough. Like we could do the third. Why not? It's drippy. <laughs> It's very drippy, this. Well, I think I think we've got a plan. I guess... Now, do we cut that flower back? Or do we... I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to help blend it a little bit more, I think. So that means I can... I might cut there and around there and we'll see if that can tuck in okay yeah that will and up a bit so it looks like we've got the lace And the little buckets there so that's all right that works that works that does cover up that little piece so i might have that up that down okay that does feel like it works so what have we got left oh i wonder I can join that in oh okay here we go that'll work and if I put that little f leaf onto there and then that onto there yes look at that that'll work and I haven't gone over the perimeter let's pin that the cotton that that embroidery is on is so dense that getting my needle through it, this this here, it's it's been starched obviously because it's sort of holding its integrity there. So whoever laundered it gave it a hit with starch, but it's still it is so dense to get a needle through it is quite quite difficult. So it's not the easiest piece. So we're going to blend that there so it looks like it was joined and then what
what we might do just to help take the eye away from that seam is we might drift I don't think I need him or him so save them mm. that's beautiful that fabric I sort of need something small just to build a little bit of interest there or do I do I put a okay when when all else fails go to your doily bits oh, I've got my little butterfly we might we might include the butterfly well that could go away what about that will that work if I nestle yeah I wonder yep okay so what I'm gonna do is loosen off this little stitch here and there and try and slide this this little guy in because we've got a couple on the piece already and let's just cover Come on, release without pulling apart. It's only invisible stitch to down, so we can sort of sneak in there. If I can bring that little piece up there <coughs> and bring that over, just need a little bit more to release. It's like jigsawing it together, a scene out of random items. It's really fun. It's a classic collage, isn't it? So I've got a bit of a gap there now. So we need that to there, that into there. And that over. So I still need more. Come on. Be brave. Snip, snip. There we go. That to there. There we go. We got it. Stitch you down in exactly that position and it'll hide where those two fabrics come together. I just need to take that little point off there. And that comes over the top. Beautiful. Pin. I need to re-stitch down all those little rough edges so that will work. Now, we sort of could do with a bit of a, a ceiling to our seam, I'm thinking. <clears throat> what could we do up there? I want to encapsulate it a little. We've got doilies just maybe we can lay one of them in behind all that that would absorb some space and soften that top edge yeah like that then maybe and we've got this corner up here to lose Maybe we do that. And then I suppose if we want this edge cut out, we can. For another design, let's say something comes along and we need that gone. Well, we can. It could probably just be utilised too. Um... There's another couple doilies that a little bit small. Don't know if I've got that colour on the piece. Yeah, I do. What if this guy 
drifted up to there. It sort of finishes that top corner, but I, I do just see that doily. I've got a little pink one that I've had kicking around for ages. No. This one's very soft. Very fine. Fine doily. I like that. That just blends it into this corner. Where's my butterfly? Let's fussy cut him out a little. He's a funny looking little fellow. It would be good to find him a home. If I get rid of a heap of the outer fabric, he might look a little better. He's very faded. He's come from something that was very well loved. Nice to give him a home. You can't really see him real well there. So I think I'll put him out in the open so that it's sort of dragging the eye across the piece like that. Not convinced about all this up here, to be honest. Like that, I sort of felt like it was getting real heavy. I'm wondering if um, we go back to the 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 um, oh my goodness, what can't I form my words? Where is the pillow slip? And I wonder if we bring in, there we go, we bring in a little bit of this type of thing just to finish the scene. What have we got? Another butterfly. He'd have to come down. That would work. So I'm thinking cutting the tree out. See how this point is up here? That point went to there. We could possibly make that work. So how would that look? That would have to come up like that. That would hide most of that, like a bit of a... It's a little bit too good to be true. Would I hide all that corner there? It'd come awfully close. That could then come down into the top of there. I'm going to fussy cut this piece out. I'm going to put it upside down so we can lose the butterfly. Maybe he's a better butterfly. Yeah, we'll put both in. I can't reject a little old butterfly that's just worn out, looks a little shabby. We can't lose him. He's going to stay. I'll just make the leaves a little bit thicker with fabric in case I need it to, you know, hide something. You can always fussy cut deeper into the piece. I know this little bit here needs to be quite tight or trimmed quite well. I didn't really look at any other pieces. We went straight to this one, so I hope this is going to work and it's not there was a better option elsewhere. I don't think so. I think we'll be okay. I like the fact that we've got that point up here. And that way the, 
the handkerchief in its entirety will be used. I'll just this this edge will be a challenge. I might just have to bury it underneath the doily so it looks like it's popped out. We're seeing a branch and then it disappears again. I'm just going to give a little extra fabric up there because we might need it to cover that funny little uh, break in our doily. I think I can cut this back. And trim this down because I need it quite fine to drift down towards that birdhouse. Okay, this can be quite fine because it's really down around that birdhouse. See if we can make this work. Get rid of all my bits. And we got a butterfly out of it, which is a good thing. Okay, so we can cut that out. can cut all this out. Don't know how we're going to end this piece. We're sort of heading up the panel and it's just when will it ever end? There's going to have to come a point where it comes to an end. <clears throat> it's Pepper woofing at someone. She's a pleasant dog, isn't she? The pair of them were really upset last night. We banded in particular and he kept looking over towards the shed and growling and carrying on. So we looked and we couldn't see anything. Last time he did that, we carried on like a, a bit of a pork chop. There was a carpet snake that came through. So I was like, oh, bet, better see what he's up to. How did I have that? That's how I had it. I was thinking, that doesn't fit. What's gone wrong? Yeah, that's good. Just pull it all up a little bit. I can trim that off. And I could probably lower that bottom piece too if I had to. Just so that it tucked in nicely. Yep, that works. That could go under there. Like that. So it looks like it's come over the top. I like that. Come over the top of that little doily. What have I done here? That will work there. I might need to just bring it in a bit and then kick it out a bit. Bit of manipulating needing to be done there to get that shape, to enable that little piece there to sit right. But that shouldn't be too hard. I should be able to ease that fabric that can go into there. That fits. That's a little high. Um, I won't move it yet. I might just tilt it up a little bit. Yep. That'll work. 
it's there's such there's a tiniest of millage <laughs> difference so I think now the question is how much can I trim back here I could do a fair bit in the top there so it's sort of from that blue flower there okay let's now I've pinned it so it's going to make it awfully hard to cut Okay, I'm going to trim this little flower as well, a ah, little butterfly as well, because I think we can blend him in. We'll find a spot for those two. That's that's easy. One up there, one there. Either way, they are going to find somewhere. Now, I think. Yeah. I should unpin this. Don't look. This is nearly being lazy. But I sort of I found that it fits and I don't want to disturb it down the bottom there. So I'm going to attempt to fussy cut this out without making a hang of a mess of the piece. I think I'll be right if I take my time. Yep. We're nearly there. Sneak around. What a pretty blue that is. I'll just stay out of there for a moment. Might need that little bit of fabric to cover where the lace is missing. It would be a lot easier if I had a handkerchief without without that piece missing. But anyway, it is what it is. Would have been too easy, wouldn't it? You wouldn't have had the fun of I wouldn't have had the fun of piecing this together. Now I might make that branch tuck in somehow yeah that's it I'm gonna leave that top edge because I don't know what is coming in here so for once in my life I'm not going to stitch that down and just stay low I think I'm going to need it to stay anyway because you'd notice that that lace was missing so I'll just pop a pin in here because that branch disappears behind the doily a pin in there And there okay so let's see where are we at we've got our little water pump so worst case scenario I could have worked in a little bit of this lace if it needed to but I think I'm gonna be okay I don't think anyone will know that the top of that's been chopped off I bring him down I sort of feel like he pops better helps fill that little space doesn't it as for the pump I don't know what colors I'll do I'll probably make it bright and cheerful like I did over here with this okay there we go I'll leave that up because I may or may not need it. I'll definitely tuck that under there. So it looks like that branch is coming over the top of the lace. There we go. We're, we're in. We're done. I think bar a few little... No, I need that under, didn't I? I decided I wanted that under. 
might just nibble out a little bit more of that fabric there, I think. Yeah, that's better. Just grabbing another pin. I'm sure I did a cross stitch years ago with a water pump and a bucket and just have a feeling there might be a little cross stitch somewhere in my cupboard. There we go, done. All right, I'll zoom it in so you can have a closer look at the how it's come together. I'm looking up at the TV and yeah, I'm happy with that. I like how that and that is draping over this. It feels like this now has a canopy over it. Love all that, that's nice and fine, sort of breaks up the chunkiness of the piece. This worked out beautifully once I worked out how to flip it a little bit. Got some butterflies out of the project, so that's great. Showcasing this little lace, soft lace edge. This softer lace doesn't overpower that lace. And this big guy, he's been pushed back a bit because of all of this work. We've hidden the fact that we're missing that little piece of lace up the top there. So I'm happy with that. And I can still, the next prompt, we can poke something in or you know add something across the top and trim it back if we need to so i'm happy with that yeah i think we've got a plan and like i said as for the little pump i might just stay in the pinks and blues and just keep it cheerful don't go you know i don't think i'd want to do the browns it's a little bit boring maybe i do need the browns i just looked over to the hanging pots maybe i do need um, a simple colour, maybe a charcoal, I don't know, don't know, we'll see how it goes, all right, awesome, will that come together, and finally this piece is getting a little bit of TLC, really good, I need to think about this little hole here, but maybe the next prompt can nestle in there, depends how big it is because it is a nice little spot for a little detail so I won't worry about it just yet I think it'll be I think it'll be okay let's just work on this little spot here all right guys thank you very much for joining me um, I believe it's probably Saturday that you're watching this uh, so have a great weekend and I will see you tomorrow in the next video and yeah I'm not sure which piece I'll pick up next but um, Let's see. See you then. Bye for now.